Welcome to Lambeau Field in beautiful Green Bay, Wisconsin. We are just about set for the opening kickoff in Lambeau. Chris Jackie teeing it up, getting ready, and we are underway. A high booming punt right to the middle end zone, and it will be not returned. Bernard Pollard with the touchback. Now I will introduce the 49ers offense, led by Joe Cool, Joe Montana. Roger Craig is the running back. Tom Rathman, the fullback, including wide receivers Jerry Rice and John Taylor. Brent Jones is your tight end in this top five offense. And we are getting ready for one of the big games of week 11 in Lambeau Field with a seating capacity just over 72,000 people. Montana back to throw, throwing John Taylor on the in route for a gain of six, making it second down and four for the Niners. And now it is time to check in on the 49ers defense. Haley, Milling, and Turner are your linebackers along with the secondary including Daryl Pollard, Don Griffin, Ronnie Lott, and Chet Brooks. A defense that is in the top 10 in the National Football League. But it's offense now facing a second down and four. Ball on the 26 yard line. Back to throw Montana looking and he hits Mike Wilson for a first down. Gain of eight on the play. Yeah, and the Packers defense went to a soft cover two zone which really opened up the middle of the field for the easy pitch and catch. And it's a new first and 10 after the completion. Montana under center with two tight ends and two receivers. Stretch play to Roger Craig and he gets stuffed. Maybe a yard, Comsey with the tackle. And one concern for the Niners right now is their running attack. They rank eighth in the NFL in running the football despite their third ranked offense. And that will be an area to work on today in Green Bay. Second down and nine, ball on the 33, handoff to Craig again, and he finds a hole getting past the first down, and he's already to the 43-yard line of the San Francisco. That big old line working against the Packers' D, and on that play, they totally push the Packers back. A gain of seven on the play brings up another first down and 10 for the Niners. And uh, yeah, I talked to Roger Craig last week, and he said one of the big things that the running backs do in this league is they try and run out of bounds. But Craig sounded like a guy that would just run forward for extra yardage on this play, another big gain. But uh, yeah, he just seemed like a guy that would not run out of bounds. He tries to run through tacklers. Right now he's one of the league's best as he ranks in the top 10 and rushing in the National Football League. Second down and five, Montana back to throw, looking left and he got his man Craig with another big completion and he gets both feet down. They rule it a good catch for a first down. Boy, I don't know so much about that one. We'll queue up the it's the replay. And Craig, oh, I don't know. We'll have to look. And you have to get two feet in for the catch. There's one, oh, and there's two. So Roger Craig did happen to get two feet in and bounds. On first down and 10 after the catch, Roger Craig barreling his way for about three yards to get to the 41 of Green Bay. Second and seven from the 41. Two receivers to the left and the tight end. One receiver to the right. Montana behind center with Roger Craig, the single back. Ball on the 41. Montana changing the play. Another handoff to Craig and he is stuffed this time. Reggie White getting into the backfield. If you're the Niners offensive coordinator, you have to be a little concerned about how quickly they penetrated that old line. Roger Craig had no chance of getting any sort of yardage that play. So after the loss of two, it's now third down and 12 from the 46. Montana back to throw, looking in, the pressure gets there. Santana Dotson with the sack. That was just another example of a great player making a great play. Dotson is a guy that won't tear up the sack column, but he is a guy that has a great upper body strength and is good with getting off blocks. So the sack forces the punting unit to trot onto the field on a fourth and 19. A booming putt run towards the right sideline and it's out of bounds at the 31 yard line. The promising Niners drive comes to a close. We'll see the Packers offense for the first time today up next. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lambeau. 217 left first quarter, three receivers to the left for Favre, one to the right. It's a pass. Back to throw, looking, and he lost one, and it is intercepted. Kevin Fagan going the other way across the 30 to the 20, 15, 10, 5, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Well, 
Well, a big play that time made by Kevin Fagan, the D tackle from San Francisco. The Niners score the first touchdown of the day, and now it's a 6-0 game with the extra point pending. So the first point of the day go the Niners' way, and the extra point is good, making it 7-0 San Fran in Lambeau, early first quarter. This crowd has gone silent. Can the Packers route them up? Down by seven, early first quarter. Welcome back. What was a huge part of that interception? The blitzing corners off the edge. Daryl Pollard hitting the arm of Brett Favre really made the difference there. And 39 yards later, Fagan has the first points of the day. Mike Coffer with the kick, and it is a high booming kick right in the mid of the end zone, and Howard will not return it. Ball in the 20. And now it is time to introduce the Green Bay offense. Brett Favre out of Southern Miss is your quarterback, along with Edgar Bennett playing running back. Wide receiver Robert Brooks and Antonio Freeman are your receivers. Mark Chimura is the tight end. Green Bay down by seven early in Lambeau. Take it first and 10 at the 20. Back to throw far, looking, and he throws it right to Robert Brooks with a gain of seven on the play. Second and three, ball on the 27 yard line. Three receivers to the right, one receiver to the left. Far from the gun, takes a snap, looking, has time, firing deep, and Makins is there for the reception across the 40 to the 30, and taken down at the 26 yard line, a 45 yard gain. And the first big play for Green Bay is made by Mickens for a huge first down. So after the big pass play, it is a first and 10 for Green Bay. Ball on the 28 yard line. Green Bay knocking on the door, far from the gun. Back to throw, looking, looking. And he throws to the near side and is complete to Andre Risen. We have an update back in the studio, Daniel. Oakland looking to stay afloat in the AFC West playoffs. They hold a two-game lead, but looking for more. Cliff Branch with a huge 80-yard touchdown to make it 10-0. Oakland over Cincinnati. Now back to you, Nick. Thanks, Daniel, for that around the NFL update. Now it's second down and seven ball on the 25-yard line. Favre in the gun, takes the snap. Back to throw, looking, rolling to his left, throwing to the end zone, and it is intercepted as Ronnie Lott takes it and is going the other way across the 20, 25, 30, and is down at the 34 yard line. And that is the second interception of Brett Favre today as he forces the ball into double coverage yet again. This time rolling to his left, he throws to a completely recovered receiver and that resulted in the second interception of Favre this half. And now it's San Francisco's ball yet again. They've dominated this first quarter of time of possession. Here's another play. He's going nowhere, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but that's about it. Dorsey Evans making the tackle. The toss play to the right was going nowhere. Roger Craig getting nothing on that play, and that really hasn't been the theme so far today. He's gotten pretty good rushing against the Packers defense so far in this first quarter. Niners up by seven, and they're into the field. Back to throw Montana. Looking, throwing right, and it has caught John Taylor for the first down. He's having a career year, Daniel, as he has another reception getting over 30 for the season. And it's been just a remarkable season for John Taylor. A handoff to Craig, and he gets nothing. Gain of two on the play. Dotson with the tackle. But John Taylor has really been the story as he's had really more production than Jerry Rice so far this year, which is pretty tough to do, considering one of the greats, Jerry Rice, is a little bit struggling so far this year for the Niners. Brent Jones near the first down. Here comes the chains, and this for the first down, the third on this Niners drive, and really the Niners have dominated time of possession. They are just a little bit short. The Niners have really dominated the time of possession over four minutes for the 49ers, about a minute for the Green Bay Packers. Score seven to nothing at the end of one as the Packers really struggling early on far of two interceptions, including the big one by Ronnie Lott. Seven to nothing early in Lambeau. Second quarter action right after this.
Welcome back to Lambeau Field. Niners up by seven in the first quarter. Back to throw Montana, looking left, throwing Jerry Rice with a reception. And he has a first down on the play. His first reception of the day goes for 24 yards and a big first down, beating the corner on that play. Craig Newsom for a huge first down, and now the Niners are in business at the 21-yard line of Green Bay. First down and 10, ball on the 21-yard line, 424 remaining in this second quarter. Montana, back the throw, five-step drop, throwing end zone way over the head of John Taylor for bringing up second down. Doug Evans was the cover man on the play. Second down and 10, ball on the 21-yard line. Hand off to Roger Craig, and he is stuffed. That was just another example of a great player making a great play. You hit it right on the head, Daniel. It was Merrill getting deep into the backfield, and it was just a great player getting in there for the tackle behind the line. Third down, 11, seven-step drop, throwing to the end zone, and it is caught. Jerry Rice in the end zone, and it is a touchdown. Jerry Rice beat the cover man, Craig Newsom for the 21-yard touchdown, and now the Niners hold a 14-point lead over the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field. Big play by the 49ers, and now it is 14-0. Green Bay has got to wake up if they have a chance of winning this game. Down 14-0, second quarter, 3.58 to go. Welcome back to Lambeau Field, everyone. 3.53 to go, and an upset so far. 14-0, San Francisco. Can the Packers respond? They do have time. Back to throw Favre, and Ryzen getting the first down. A gain of 10 on the play, and his second catch of the day goes for 10 yards and a first down for Green Bay. And with the difference of time of possession, it's really critical for Green Bay to sustain a long drive and get into the end zone or score some sort of points. Bennett getting no yards on that play. San Francisco has just dominated the time of possession a little over six minutes for the San Francisco 49ers and just around a minute and a half for the Green Bay Packers. San Francisco plays at around 20 and the Green Bay has had about four to five plays so far in this game. Third down and 10, a conversion that the Green Bay Packers have to have. They can't afford another punt if they're thinking about winning this football game. Man in motion from left to right, back to throw far, looking, seven step drop, across the middle and it is caught Antonio Freeman double coverage on the play and he fits it in there for the 28 yard completion and a huge first down for Green Bay getting into San Francisco territory ball on the 35 yard line but boy Brett Favre really darted the needle on that play double coverage the safety Ronnie Law just about ready to pick that ball off but Freeman able to snag it out of the air for the completion New set of downs for Farr, back to throw, looking right, and it is caught. Edgar Bennett with a huge grab, spinning out of a tackler, and 18 yards later, he has yet another first down. Huge play by Bennett, and it is now another Green Bay first down. Back to throw, Farr, Chamura in motion from right to left. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Back to throw, Farr, looking, throwing, and it is incomplete. Ryzen, the intended receiver, and that brings up a fourth down and nine for Green Bay. Chris Jackie with the 30-yard attempt, and it is good. So the first points for Green Bay make it 14-3 in Lambeau. Big points there, and it's an 11-point game in the second quarter. Welcome back to Lambeau Field in beautiful Green Bay, Wisconsin. Here is the kick, and Darnold Pollard will take it out of the end zone to the 20, and he is tackled at the 23-yard line. San Francisco rolling early in the first half. It has really just been a dominating offensive performance. Green Bay getting the first points of the day to at least make it an 11-point game, 14-3. Oh, almost intercepted by the safety. Eugene Robinson had it in his hands. Part one of the DSFL radio is over, and you can watch part two and three later on in the week. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.